بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أهله وصحبه أجمعين In this lecture, inshallah, I shall be explaining the difference that exists in the writing of Amsa in the Arabic and the Quranic text. And this difference depends on the sign that the Amsa carries, as well as the position of the Amsa in a word. When Amsa comes with an alif at the beginning of a word, and it carries either of the Fatha or the Dhamma signs, it is written above the alif in both the Quranic and the Arabic text, as we have in these examples. In the Arabic text, Abun, which means a father, is a word that starts with an Amza that is written upon an Alif, and the Amza has a Fatha sign. And Humun, which means a mother, starts with an Alif which has Amza written upon it, and that is because the Amza carries a Dumma sign. Likewise in the Quranic text, Ana, which means I, Start with Amza that is written upon an alif, and the Amza has a fatha sign. Ummatun, which means a nation, has Amza written upon alif, because the Amza carries a dumma sign. This position of Amza changes when it takes Kesra and it starts a word in both the Quranic and Arabic text. For example, in the Arabic script, Ibratun, which means needle. Starts with an Amsa which is written below an Alif because the Amsa carries a Kesra sign. Also in Ibrahim, the Amsa is written below the Alif. In the Quranic text, Ida which means when, starts with an Amsa which is written below an Alif and the Hamza carries a Kesra sign. Ibrahim also is written the same way it is written in the Arabic text. Where the difference lies then is when the Amsa takes a Kesra. And it comes at the middle or at the end of the word. Then Amsa in the Arabic text is written upon a dotless ya. As you have in this example, Malaikatun. Ya is Amsa written upon a dotless ya. And the Kesra comes below the ya. Also in Ulaika, Amsa is written above a dotless ya. And the Kesra is written below the ya. But in the Quranic text, Amsa maintains its position of being written below the letter it comes with when it takes a kesra. For example, in both Malaikatun and Ulaika, Amsa is written below the dotless ya, and the kesra is written below the Amsa. Also in this word, Lu'i, which is found in Quran 56 verse 23, Amsa is written below a wow because it takes kesra and not above the wow. So in conclusion, in the normal Arabic script, only the first Amsa has two positions, that is above the Alif, when it takes a Fatha or a Dumma, and below the Alif when it takes Kesra. But in the Quranic text, wherever Amsa comes in a word, it is written below an Alif, a Waw, or a Ya, once it takes a Kesra. Subhanaka lahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ila ila ant. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته